Hello, everybody. So if you've seen my post, I was inviting you guys tonight to have a talk with me and Brandon Kelly. So yesterday, Cara and I did readings on the All Things Possible page, on this page. Um, <clears throat> and tonight, I'm having her husband, which is one, again, of my best friends, um, come on and talk to you about activating your mind, body, and spirit. And when all three are in alignment, how to kind of move through life smoother and also in your manifesting. So if you guys jump on, say hi, I'm going to go ahead and start inviting and as well as um, I'm going to get Brandon on here. Brandon, if you're on here, go ahead and send an invite. All right, Mr. Kelly. Hello, everybody, whoever is joining. We are getting ready to bring on Brandon Kelly. Let's see. All right, Brandon, if you're on. Hey, Selena. Hi, Deborah. Gerald. Thank you, everybody, for joining me. I'm waiting for Brandon Kelly to jump on. Mr. Brandon. Brandon has a few, um, not only tips, but tools that we can use to activate the mind, body, and spirit. And um, like I was saying, you know, when all three in a, is in alignment, <clears throat> how much easier you not only move through life, but create and manifest the things that you want in your life. Hi, Deborah. Brandon, send a request, please. Let me see if I can do it like this. <clears throat> Oh, it won't let me. Brandon, do you see where you can request? Oh, hold on, let's see. Brandon. It's already invited. All right, guys, just bear with me a few moments. Hello. Welcome, everyone. Just bear with us a few moments. We're trying to get Brandon Kelly on. So he can talk to us. Brandon, if Cara is around, ask her. <laughs> There's a way that you send a request. All right, guys. So Brandon has a few things he's going to share with you, with us. Brandon and um, there's actually a whole team of us working together to bring the street net out. Brandon is the uh, information and the face we call him. <laughs> okay. All right. So Brandon is, let's see. Add Brandon. You should be coming on now. There Hey, hey, hey. hey. Wait, turn your phone, Brandon, because oh, this time. I've been. There, there we go. go. There we go. How are you doing? I'm phenomenal. How are you? I am blessed. All right. So I kind I of love it. I love it. A little bit to everybody. Told them that you're coming on to share some tools with us and some information on activating mind, body, and spirit. And working in alignment, you know, how that helps not only move through life easier, but create. Absolutely. Take the take the uh, seat, the stand. I love it. Well, number one, I want to remind everybody that you are actually life. It's not all these situations that we hope go right or get better. You are the process of life getting better. It all happens because of you. And when you let the ego take a back seat, you actually get to experience so much more of what that actually means to be that, that forward driving edge of life every single day, all night, the whole time. That's just it. Uh, I've been super blessed, like beyond what I can actually put words to, but super blessed my whole life, really. But it's, I'd say it was like 19, just turning 20, and I was in a crazy motorcycle accident, like horrific motorcycle accident. And it, I snapped my arm. I broke my arm in three pieces. I got a big old scar here, right? I snapped my pelvis in half, got an even bigger scar there. 
I broke my leg, I severed my femoral artery, and I had a severe and traumatic brain injury. And all those things really led me to believe, not just to believe, but showed me that there's so much more to us and life than I could even comprehend. I was laying in the hospital bed and I remember looking out the window and sunrise and sunset were always my favorite times of the year or times of the day. Like that was, I loved to watch them, but it wasn't until after that accident that I was laying in that hospital bed and I saw that sun come up that I really appreciated how special and fantastic that interaction was to be able to yeah. feel those sun rays coming through the window. I realized that was a, a magnificent moment that was honestly meant for me. It, and it was the first time that I really felt that. Like I really felt those warm rays of the sun that traveled who knows how far. We can try personally and put them. Personally loved, right? Personally loved oh, for like you. Yeah. For me, like yeah. the intent of this beam was to hit my eye through that lens, through the glass, through the atmosphere. It was just amazing. And I really started to yeah. see how everything that was going on, everything that happens, wasn't just happening for me, but I was actually happening for it. And it really yeah. just started to, Th that was the, really the beginning of my journey. You know, I, um, I asked the physical therapist what I needed to do to get out of the hospital. And he was like, you got a lot, like there's a lot you could do. And he wrote out this big old laundry list of exercises and movements and things that I should be able to do on my own. I took this little pink power band back to my room with me and I started, I can't even say going to work, but accepting these actions that I knew I could will and am in the process of taking and to be honest a lot of those things are still going on right now it's not about just trying to work out and get stronger but to truly connect with myself and accept all of the opportunities that i have and that's what has brought me here full circle that's how i became a personal trainer after that i honestly wanted to become a physical therapist that was really what i wanted to do and uh I had a really good friend. I'm happy he, he kind of turned me. You know, they say you, you turn a ship one degree at a time. And yeah. he shifted my movement just enough because he was, he was saying how the spirit inside the physical therapist world is different than that of a personal trainer. Mm. And it was something that I never considered. I just was so yeah. thankful for the people that I had when I was in the hospital and for them really allowing me and giving me the exercises that I needed to get stronger. Yeah. Oh, Cara says I have to sit up higher. <laughs> she's, she's the boss. <laughs> oh, no, oh, that's it. Well, let's see what I can do about that here. Give me a pillow. I'm gonna just sit on my leg here. How about that? Right, Better? Right. There we go. Oof, it's be rough on the knees. Yes, I was saying that because when you were showing the scar, you couldn't see it earlier, but to see how bad your scars are, people. Oh, it's just to get an idea how physically. Yeah. Oh, it goes. Connected you became all the way down. Yeah, I mean, I literally broke this arm in three pieces. Snapped my pelvis in half. So I severed my femoral artery, broke my leg. Thanks, babe. I feel like a little kid, like sitting on the couch. Yeah. <laughs> but. I love you. Don't let a nice birthday. I love it. Well, see, that's why she's so good. You know, I love her you so know, much. One of the things that um that you're saying that I just wanted to add in there too about it be being part of your awakening um you know process or event that happened in your life, like for me was you know with Jasmine for me. But then I look back and you see like how your life was already like laid the foundation for that to happen in order yeah. for, you know, the awakening to take place. It's so. you are and I say this, it's not just a tagline. This is truly my message, not just to the world, but to myself. And I know that this is the greatest service that I can offer is to remind people that you are a perfect machine. And when I say machine, I don't want you to feel disrespected or less than what it means to be a human because a human is a perfect 
perfect machine, the ultimate SUV. Like you are something so special, so fantastic. This is the only place we know where to find it. You yeah. are some of the rarest substance in the world. This collection of things, cells, bacteria, space. I tell people solid, liquid, gas, and space itself combine to form the substance that is you. Yeah. And it's up to you to shape, manage, and move not just your body, but the environment around you. That's why I'm, you know, sitting on these little pillows here makes a big yeah. difference, but <laughs> setting things up in your life, not just for a phone call, but for, hi, Jasmine. Sorry, I see you in the background. Hi, I'm on a live But it's up to you to really shape and mold all those things and that's a perfect segue like your your children like i'm so happy that i've met cara and have beautiful children with her roxanne my daughter carlin like oh i feel supremely blessed to have such special beings in my life yeah. to help me remember the things that are actually important and not just remember it do something about it to really take advantage of the situation that I still have because I almost lost all of it. And it's that major shift that helps you realize all the minor shifts that you can take every day. Yeah. And so that's, yeah. That's awesome. All right, let me ask you, what are some things that you do or that, uh, you know, I know there's a couple of things that we do, but <clears throat> that we wanna talk about tonight that activate your mind, your body and your spirit to help us move in that alignment. Absolutely. Uh, so. I know there's a long list. There's there, like and that's, so the thing, that's the thing with the spiritual work and why we're doing this, why I'm doing this, and why we have so many lives and coaches and people doing this now is because we all have so many tools that we can access, right? And they don't have yeah. to be even physical. They can be mental tools that we use or your from your fingers to your mind to your tongue. Yes. But they're also tools that we that we don't know about that if we had access to to um reach a higher level if we know about it we would use it at least so i think because i was just talking to a lady um that will be with us next week with me on all things possible that does tapping and it's so simple so simple and that we don't access that tool it's but there you know there's so there's so many tools i'm sorry go ahead what were you gonna say no that's but it's so true it's it's not so much that it's not popular because a lot of people have heard of tapping and are discovering tapping. Yeah, I mean, just in general, different things, you know? There's yeah, like there's like so many things. Yeah. And that's just it is. There's no limitation. Yeah, there's not one way up the mountain. And you not know? one is right over the other either. All they're paths all are valuable. All paths lead what back. Works for you. They all, yeah. all the paths lead back to the center. Some take a longer route. Some are shorter, some are straighter, some are windy as hell. But yeah. the point is, all paths lead back to the center. There's yeah. no one way to do things. No Your job to is to really shine so bright so that way yeah. you can lead, you can help other people take that next step forward. Because and then I feel like what works for you, whatever tool works for you, um, when it works so good, we want to tell other people about it too, obviously, right? And then yeah. what happens I'm noticing is that you might have use of one tool and you're using it for a while and then it kind of dies down. So it's not as effective because now you've evolved into a different person. You need another tool. And so that's why there's so many different tools in there. Um, one of the things I know I'm kind of jumping into it. Maybe I no, have you're great. Too, but with the GNAT that I loved was that when I got on there, <clears throat> it not only activated because a lot of these tools um like we said i'm not even go every time i think about tools i think about the list <laughs> yeah there's but if if you have like okay so for me with the gene i jump it on there it activated freaking muscle parts first of all i forgot existed i forgot existed in my whole body for three days after five minutes <laughs> I was like, Brandon, you fucked my damn whole body up for three days. Um, and then what was more like, look, I'm thinking about it, my blood is rushing now, was that. 
was the blood rushing was the activation of my mind thinking clearly like I was excited you know for, and 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 so I can imagine like you said if you just did this in between to stay on that vibration was one of the things that I got excited about like oh shit we're on the right path so remember you're perfect there's yeah. nothing wrong with you whether you it's slow activating. down speed up you are still perfect and the gene the gene is probably one of it's it's like my favorite new toy that I've been blessed with. Like that is a huge blessing in my life. Yeah. GNAT stands for Global Neuromuscular Activation Technology. And it's yeah. nothing that you have to plug in. It's nothing that you have to download. It's actually a machine that you sit on the wall. You can bolt it into the ground. I'm gonna take you guys on the ground. I have pictures on. I think I shared the one that I said on. Oh, you're gonna show us even better. I got you. I'm just gonna show you right now. This is it. Yeah, but for like, if anybody's looking, I did post a picture of it on my regular page with Brandon on there. And Brandon was in Florida last month and a few weeks ago, also promoting this GNAT machine. And I'm also I was with him in some of the videos. If you notice. But that simple little machine right this. there is one of the reasons I wanted to bring this on. And because of what it is that we have in mind to share with the world, it's amazing. And like, I wouldn't be taking time out to tell you, it activates your mind, your body, and your, and because those are activated, your soul becomes excited. You know yes. What I mean? And your That's... soul starts letting, it just so, it makes your mind flow freer. And Nothing I, I feels good nothing feels good like feeling good and there's a lot of things you can say all the words you can eat all the food you can do whatever you want you can talk like you can talk the talk but it's not until you combine all those things together that yeah. the magic really starts to happen and the whole reason the gnat works is because you work that device right there takes advantage of every not just muscle in your body but all the systems in your body that make you you like yes. that's the magical part about the gnat if you didn't have this spectacular nervous system like there's more things inside of you than we can really put words to and that's yeah. the magical part about being you you don't have to put words to it you can just do it so when i can take anybody and i mean anybody and put them up on the gnat uh, what makes me feel so great is that I know that you are now being yeah. activated. Yeah. It's like, I call myself the CGO of StreetNet, <laughs> the chief galvanization officer, because my yeah. job is to turn on, purify, and activate every body I meet. And the GNAT is like my like ninja. It's such a fun tool. It's such it a is fun tool. The I want to share a yes. story real quick. When you were here, I'm going to share like when we were at, um, John was putting up the GNAT on the Jeep and the mechanics that were there helping and everything I'm going to tell, I, we watched the mechanics, right? And, and, and this to show like it, there's no limitations either with the body, right? Um, these were older mechanics, smoking, drinking. As a matter of fact, he went to go get a beer, right? And just living your life and however. And this gentleman got on because we Brandon had been gathering people to come on the machine. Oh, so I was warning. I was firing warning shots excited, all day. So, yeah. I told <laughs> like, people from the bus. Yes. To come on and they got on and the girl was. And so the, the mechanic, I'm observing everything that's happening. The mechanic sees everybody excitement and was like, all right, I'll try it. So he gets on and I can tell he probably thinks it's really tough. And like I did too, like I was like, how is this going to hold me up? Am I going to be able to hold myself up? And he pulls and he does it. Brandon shows him the moves to do and he does it. And I'm looking, I'm in the van watching. I look at him get off and he was like, yeah, that's really good. And as he's walking away, I can see his whole aura, everything changing on him. And he walks in, he walks out with his bed. He's like, that's some good shit, man. Yeah, that's, <laughs> you guys are doing something there. He was so excited. It was so funny that the other guy jumped on. Again, somebody that you think that has limitations to his physical and he got on and he went further. And then you can see the aura and the, the everything changes on, on when they get on there. That's what I oh, love watching people. Get that's on my favorite that. part about it is I, yeah. and I always ask people after they get off, 
how do you feel now? Yes. And they're always like, yeah. Ugh. I'm like, they, yeah. it's hard to describe in regular words, but like I said, nothing feels good like feeling good. When your body is mm -hmm. actually on and activated, that lets your mind work better. That yeah. lets you have bigger and better thoughts and it opens you up. I mean it yeah. spiritually. Like you will yeah. feel things yeah. that you didn't even realize you were feeling or capable of feeling oh, yes. until after you get off. And I'm not just talking muscle soreness because trust me, that can happen. But yeah. it's also power, true power. Like power is a mental concept. That's the thing I want you to remember. Power is having the quality, possessing the qualities to do something or get something done. Yes. And when you get off the GNAP, you are powerful. You realize I can do this. Man, I see can, that on it, their face. So I mean, well, one of the things that you were talking about, nothing feels good like feeling good. And I, I want to add that into the list of the tools too. That's one of the reasons why there's so many different tools. And one of mine was getting dressed up while I started doing the jewelry because it becomes so fun. When it's so fun, you want to continue it. You want to continue it and it starts yeah. expanding you. Like you said, then your spirit allows you to expand when you get into to the moment and feel good how that changes for you so like basically all the tools that are out there whether you tap write meditate pray i mean we can go on and on exercise dance <clears throat> or work eat, out look eat, like eat, look, everything yes. yeah like observing so things at the tool i'll run out of fingers but there's <laughs> so many of them um i really am so glad to be a part of the movement with the GNAT, which is the street street nation what street nat i tell people street so nat. it's street <laughs> underscore nat right? i'm on instagram looking yeah. street nation G wait it is <laughs> I... <laughs> no so here's the thing right i was talking to matt about this i'm not even worried about it We're, i'm gonna tell everybody right now we got two instagrams right one is street underscore nat street nat the street neuromuscular activation team that's what we do we literally hit the streets with this and I want to yeah. bring it to you. So don't ever hesitate. Reach out to me, Prudence, whoever. Let's get you on the list because we're planning, and not planning, we're doing a national tour. I'm literally going to take this everywhere because I can. And that's the best so part. Is it, get, what city, what state you're in, you guys? Yeah, you would I will. I'm not kidding. We are going to do a tour coming up. Either the end of this year is going to start or for sure next year, the beginning of next year. So we're going to start letting people know now. Give us a name of the city or the um, state that you're in. Let's put that on our list, too. And we're raising the G Nation. Yeah. Really. The G underscore N-A-T underscore I underscore on. G Nation. G Nat I on. We'll I want you to remember. Yeah, yeah, we'll I'll definitely put, put the links on there. Too. But the G Nation, the G Nat I on Instagram is really going to be for people who have a G Nat. Like, cause we're going to go deep into it and I don't want to leave anybody behind. And if you don't have one, if you haven't been on it, if you haven't experienced it, it's not even going to make sense to you. It is literally another dimension of not just health and fitness, but of you, where you get to experience more of yourself and accept more of yourself than we ever thought was possible. Like yeah. that's really what's going on right now is that the gene and I got all the science, I would love to share this with any and everybody. We've got clinical reviews, we've got papers, I've got all that for you. None of it matters until you touch it. Yeah. To, people can tell you the stove is hot. You can be a smart kid, right? But it's one day you're gonna have to reach up there and Look, all of a sudden, Brandon, those words Brandon mean something loves working out. Before the GNAT even was discovered, Brandon is a workout junkie to me in my eyes. if you compare arm to his brain, but <laughs> <laughs> Brandon's a workout junkie. So when he first was telling me about the Gina, I was like, that's awesome. It sounds amazing. Like it sounds, and I, I, I feel it, right? And I, for what, almost a year, I think, before we actually met, right, you were doing the Gina already? or maybe Oh, yeah. Before. It was honestly... Yeah. Right. But like right I about now, it. two year anniversary with the GNET where I was like, I discovered okay. it. Yeah. 2019, the very beginning of 2019. Okay. So yeah. And so, it's been. And you have been like, telling me about it because Brenda lives in Colorado. I'm in central Florida. 
And so he had been telling me about it for this time. And I was like, it sounds amazing. I see, you know, what it's doing with you. And I seen his body shifted, everything. I remember like a few months after your whole face shifted. Oh. And I, until I got on it, and I got on it, guys, for five minutes, for five minutes, maybe not even the whole five minutes. And I was like, oh, shit. I just understood what you meant. Like, you couldn't have explained. It's like having a baby. You can hear about it all day long, but until you actually physically have a baby, it doesn't it doesn't compare even to the stories you hear. That's what to me the GNAT does like that. It we can tell you about it all day long and it sounds amazing, but tell us the state and city you're in so we can plan to let you try it. Yes. I mean, there is a vision in mind that this is gonna be not only in gyms and rest stops and just accessible to humans all over the world. It's not even a like, vision. I got a mission and a campaign. A campaign never stops. Like that's what I want you to realize. I'm not campaigning like a politician. I'm telling you, this is happening. This is true. It's something so great, so big that I have to do it. That's, yeah. that's the whole point is that if you could turn the entire human race on, would you do it? And my answer is yes. Hell yeah. I no, I can. And that's just it is I know we can not just snap people out of depression or from having like panic attacks and things like that, because yeah. this turns you on now. When I say yeah, snap, I'm not kidding. Level. Does. Can you but, explain that part? I remember John and you were explaining it to me about um, symp sympathetic or symptom. sympathetic. Yeah. So can you tell a little bit about that? Your everyday walking around self is your parasympathetic mode. And that's what I said. It only works because you work. So you've got something called your autonomic nervous system, right? And it, it is amazing. There's no wood. It is amazing. And I want to get you on there. But you've got something called your autonomic nervous system. And that's what helps you manage your everyday life without thinking about it. You don't have to think about blinking. You don't have to think about breathing. You don't have to think about, oh, this is hot. I should move my hand away. You have systems in place that let you know yeah. now, <laughs> no, not right. Get back now. Yeah. And so your autonomic nervous system, when you step up on the GNAT, I want you guys to think about this. Your autonomic nervous system is deaf, dumb, and blind. I'm not saying dumb is in ignorant. I mean, it doesn't speak. It doesn't see and it can't hear. Yeah. All it does is the math, the instant math. If you stand on one foot and start to lean over, that autonomic nervous system lets you know, hey, this is not working out right. You need to fix this right now. Something's not right. And when you step on the GNAT, your conscious mind is going, I can do this. It's no big deal. Your autonomic nervous system is saying, yo, fix this now something is not right and so you go from your parasympathetic which is your every normal day walking around to your sympathetic which is your fight or flight mode but because we're going we're taking like a sneaky long way in to the to that sympathetic mode normally it takes a fear-based situation like a threat has to be recognized either like imagine if you're walking down the street and a bear or a pack of wolves or somebody with a gun pops out around the corner, a threat's recognized and your body that, oh, have you ever been yeah. scared? You know that, that scared yeah. feeling? That's you slamming into sympathetic for just oh, a moment. Yeah. And when you do that, when that threat's confirmed, you don't just get slammed in, but you go. You're ready to either run for your life or fight for your life. Yeah. That is what the sympathetic mode is. With the gene app, we take you sympathetic without an emotional trigger. It's like, <laughs> yes, the PTSD, <laughs> that's exactly what it is. Yeah. That, so PTSD is the uncontrollable slamming back and forth of your parasympathetic yeah. and sympathetic like states. That's exactly what PTSD is. Wow. Being at, and that's why I want it, we're literally setting up this whole tour we want to talk to vets. We want to talk to first responders. I want to talk to police, fire, firefighters, EMTs. Bless you, but like, <laughs> bless you two times. But it's uh, 
One more time for a wish. Yeah, what? (laughs) But there's, these are the people who go sympathetic all the time. They really do. And to be able to go sympathetic, but without the emotional trigger, without the trauma, without the damage, that's why your body feels so good is because we have not only aligned you physically, but we turned you on. Your whole body is literally turned on. And it doesn't just, you don't come back out like you normally do. Normally your body checks for holes, confirms that there's no more threat. Oh, you were just playing with me, kicks you back out and you're normal again. That's what I mean. Oh, that's so cool to understand it that way. But this, once you step on the genet, you stay sympathetic. Yeah. yeah, You don't just pop back out. So that's how we can help with that PTSD. So the next time you have a PTSD or a panic attack or anything like that, you're gonna go sympathetic. But instead of being fearful, you can recognize that feeling and you're better able to More take control. control of yourself. Exactly. Yes. Like yes. that's the magical part of, that's the, I mean, that's just one of the magical parts, yes, but yeah. Yes. But that's a major part because that is why we're doing everything that we're doing is in the sense is to have a sort of control, right? To have a control of, of what we're manifesting. And, and like we're saying, first of all, the feeling good. So if you yes. are in more in control of that, you are more in control of your life. That's just it. And remember, the big thing is this, right? Control is management of a reflex.